Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Spyro the Reignited Trilogy. Today, we have a lot of stuff going on. You might know that we've been making our way through the Winter Tundra. We've now gotten all of these levels done, and I think these are all the available levels in the Winter Tundra completed. So, really, the only thing we want to do is go and take on Ripto, but we're not gonna do that just yet. Instead, this episode will be dedicated to going through the Summer Forest and the Autumn Plains and 100% completing all the levels that still yet need that. So, the Summer Forest itself, uh, some of these other levels as well. We'll be going through all those and just trying to get whatever we need to get done. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I think, there's the Autumn Plains, here's the Summer Forest. There is lots of stuff to do within these levels, so I'll be just going through them and just trying to get done what we can, and hopefully that'll turn out quite well. I'm not really sure. So here we are back at the Summer Forest, and I'm sure there's lots to do. I'm trying to figure out where we should go first, because right now it's telling me to go that way because I just don't remember what we were missing and what we weren't, so Sparks leading me to whatever gems we may have missed might be my easiest thing to do, just because it's been so long since we were last here. Sort of nice to go down memory lane, though, because <laughs> we are missing only 11 gems, but we're missing two orbs, so that that's sort of the more difficult thing. So uh, Sparks wants us to go literally straight up. Don't know what the best way to do that is. Probably going this way? Uh, Maybe? Hard to tell? I think, though. Okay, well, here's Ocean Speedway. Not exactly what I was looking for. Still just, he wants me to go that way now, weird. I mean, I'm not quite done. And the, oh, this door can be open now. Was there? There's certainly an orb in there. Gotcha, so I know exactly what I gotta do. I have to glide across, flutter jump, and get an orb. So there we go, there is three out of four for that and our 51st one, awesome stuff, but we're still missing a little bit more. Let me also get these sheep if I can. Get some extra lives, maybe. Uh, not quite, oh well. He's still saying that way. Maybe, this is Crush's dungeon, so it's definitely not this. It has to be this way. Weird. He's just saying straight up. Ooh, here we go. Maybe this, I don't know if I've ever climbed up here before. But now I can, because yeah, we unlocked the climbing ability in the second area, so there was no way I could have done this. Awesome, we did it. So let's see how many gems we got. We got another orb, so there's the fourth and final orb for this area, and the rest of the gems, right? Oh, maybe? Come on, last one, right here. Oh, we're still missing one. Where's the last one? It's way over that way. <laughs> really? Okay, so this way you said? Yep, definitely that way, so torch that button. Go this way, and well, what is this way now? Down there, oh, nice you know what, work. this might, yeah, I'm sorry, Laura, I wasn't trying to talk to you. It might not actually be here, it might actually be back this way and out of this building, so I'm gonna try that real fast. Hmm, because out of this building is down here. Gonna press this button again. Whole button system gonna be a little bit confusing, because he's, he's saying down there now. I'm pretty sure that's maybe in the water or something. Yeah, I'm thinking it's down here. Okay, that way? All right, Sparks, little buddy. Gotta help me out with this one. Oh yeah, this way. Where in the world is it? It must have been like way at the beginning. Somehow I missed out on it. Hmm, this is a bit peculiar. I feel like he's sort of leading me on. Like it's changed. Still this way. Really, was it really way back here? Did I miss one at the very beginning of the game? I must have, where is it? Right here, oh my gosh, how silly of me. So there we go, 400 out of 400, and that means this area is 100% complete, which is actually quite fitting, because we gotta go into Glimmer now, where if I can actually get up there. <laughs> where, where, how do you get up this thing, is it over this way? Yeah, um, here in Glimmer, I actually have one orb to get, and I also have a good, you know, 26 gems left to complete, so let's go ahead and get started with that one. I know where it all is, it's up in that climbable area, so we'll get that done, and hopefully it'll be pretty easy. Okay, so we don't have to worry about too much of these guys. I mean, I will have Sparks doing his thing. See if we did miss anything around this area, because we may have, but it's looking like it's all gonna be in that climbable area. So I'm mostly going to ignore this stuff. Charge through you, sure, why not? And uh, I'll save this guy. And I wanna climb up this. This is what we've been looking for. This is the very first level in the game. Oh, we do need to get something more here. We installed some gem lamps in this cave too, but they're even harder to keep going. You'll definitely need this super fly power up to light the lamps. Gotcha, so I need to go and get 10 enemies taken down, which is a bit of a pain, because I've already done that in the past. I just have left the level, so I guess I need to do it again. 
Wish it wasn't that way, but it is. Okay, we got this guy down here. Leave me alone, sir. That's five, six. Don't think there's any other enemies down this way, so we can go back up. Four more of the little lizard dudes, or big guys, or whatever they are. Oh, we got that guy, that's seven. And there's definitely more this way. Eight. Two more, come on. Where are they? Nine, wait, wait, nine. Ooh, we got three ladybugs taken out, and 10, perfect. I might actually just go ahead, grab this one, and fly back, because it's a little bit faster. Because I think, have we ever gone to that boarded up room? I don't know if you can. Hmm. Anyways, we're just gonna go this way as much as we can. And there we go, <laughs> perfect. So I just I need to, I know, I know, climb up this way, and we got another super fly. Hey, great, you've got the super fly power up active. Now you can light the gem lamps in this cave. Okay, so f find the gem lamps. Uh, these? No, these. Yeah, one out of six, so I missed this one over this way. That was very silly of me. Let me go ahead and just get more of them. I don't know if this is timed. I think it's more the challenge of getting it all done before your flying runs out. But are they still lit up? Oh, they're definitely still lit up. Okay. So where are the other ones? There's a green one right here. I don't think I missed any else. There's a green one, a purple one. Oh, I missed the blue one. Sort of blended in when I was turning. That's five out of six. And then there should be one more. It's the red one right over this way. Come on, make it, Spyro, you got it. And boom, nice. What is that gonna do? Wow, we we'll make an orb. Thanks for helping me light the lamp, Spyro. For a while, I was afraid we were gonna have to cancel tonight's baseball game. Here, somebody mix this orb in with the baseballs. What? You guys have baseball indoors? That seems a little risky, but okay. Have fun. Not my problem. So there we go. I think that is. Oh, we're still missing one gem, of course. Is it behind him? It's behind him. There it is, 400, 400 out of 400, so that should be the level completed, and indeed it is. So we can head out of this one and go to the next level, which is, I mean, I can travel there now. I don't know if that canceled things. I don't think so, so we'll just go to the next area, and hopefully everything will turn out just fine. So here we are back in the Idle Springs, and there's a fair chunk to do. We have 80 more gems and another orb. Let's start looking for the gems, and usually as we're looking for them, we can find whatever else we miss. So I don't think, yeah, we didn't have the underwater ability unlocked when we last tackled this level, so it actually might be quite easy to get all the gems. Okay, got a little fishies in here and everything. A little tunnel this way, which I'll leave for when I'm certain I've collected everything around here. Okay, yeah, I totally had forgotten that we haven't unlocked the underwater ability by the time we got to this level. Here are a couple more, because now we're really climbing in gems already. So let me grab this one, and Sparks will bring me this way. He'll always bring me to like the closest ones, the most obvious closest ones, so definitely want him to be active now, and I'll be like, hey, go for these. And where will this lead me? Luckily, or hopefully, with any luck, <laughs> it can be to the orb. But I don't, oh, yep, there it is. I was gonna say, don't quite see one, now I do. And that's all of them, awesome. So let's go ahead and get our orb from you. I've been locked in here with all our tools and the giant idle heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. Oh, great. The first puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, come back and talk to me. Gotcha, so solve the three giant idle puzzles. To solve the first puzzle, turn all the blocks yellow. Ask Foreman Bud for extra help. Jump on the blocks to change their color to yellow. Okay. Uh. No resetting the puzzle, haven't even tried it yet, so I just jump on them to turn them yellow. Oh, gotcha. So what it does is it'll turn all the adjacent blocks not yellow? Yeah, okay. So I want something like that, and then this, and then maybe this, okay, that's good. And then this, that, I'm so bad at these. I am so bad at these. Uh but I think I'm starting to get it. Because then if I jump on this, and then jump on this, then I can jump on this, jump on this, and then jump on this. Got it. There's three Whoa, of these? Spyro, you did it. Uh, I mean, uh, I knew you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. Okay, gotcha. The pond. Mouse. Okay, never mind. So we can't do anything with this? Okay, where is the pond at? I mean, I guess we were in the pond a moment ago. So we gotta pop back out. So where is he gonna be now? This idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he's swallowed 10 fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. 
Flame the fish to feed the idol. The idol is very picky. Okay, oh, okay, I see, I see. Does he like blue fish? He likes blue and yellow. Okay, so not the red fish. Red fish, blue fish, wait. Yeah, he didn't like that, so it's, it's, it's back to zero again. Gotcha. So, it's pretty simple, right? We just gotta wait for it. My impatience will be the end of me. Come on, that's a blue one, we can do that. Oh, that missed it though, whoopsies. So no red ones. This reminds me of the uh, little fish mini game in Jack and Daxter. So just anything that isn't red, we're fine. It's not red, we're halfway through. That's a blue, that's a blue. Or oh, did that one count for two? I don't think it did. Come on, we just need two more. Yellow, come on, one more, not red, not red. That's red. That's blue. Yeah, we did it, awesome. Okay, Spyro, just one more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the colored stones for your final challenge. Colored stones, so I think we've actually seen these before and we're like, what were they? And we just kept walking. Can you open this up for me, buddy? Thank you. So I don't know exactly where the colored stones are, but I guess we'll find them along the way. Uh, yeah, we'll take some discovery, I guess. Can you leave him alone? Yeah, we gotta destroy all these guys to actually get back to where we're supposed to be. That's fine, <laughs> it shouldn't be that big of a deal. We're not even that far into today's episode. We're making fantastic progress. I'm really happy about it. I'm just trying to figure out where I gotta go. It looks like I just gotta keep making my way through this way, so help me out when you can, buddy. Wait, where is he? Oh, here he comes, he's running. <laughs> he's not the fastest runner, but he's trying his best. And open. So I think we can charge through this without too much of an issue. Uh, gotcha. So where's the dude for this one? He's right here. Okay, you got it. Good job. And like I said before, after this episode, next episode we should be taking on the final boss, Ripto, which will be really exciting. Oh, here we go. Hey, buddy. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. Jump on the stones in the correct order. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve. Okay, but I thought you said you knew the first one. Oh, it's that, I guess? So is the next one, this one? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, that was not correct. Let's start over. Is it a guessing game then? I got lucky that time then. That's not it. It's just sort of like a... Let's... I don't know if there's a hint somewhere, but I think it's just about guessing. And I guessed correctly the first time. So there's two more to check out. That's not it, so it has to be the square. Let's... Okay, unless it's random every time, but that would make no sense because it wouldn't be this one every time. Uh, So it's one of these three? I'm gonna guess this one. Oh, that's correct! Okay, 50-50 shot! Ah, uh, okay. That's fine, that's fine. I know Let's... exactly what to do, I think. Uh, but don't forget it. It's that, this, 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 and this. Got it! Okay, pretty cool. And that opens up the chest, we're back nice here. Nice job, Spyro. You're pretty smart for a dragon. Uh, all I have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our toolbox. All right, well, there we go. That's all I wanted. Thank you for the orb. Very cool. So that is this level 100% completed, all of the orbs gotten, and uh, yeah. Very cool, so we can now move on over to Sunny Beach where we have three of these. Yeah, I didn't really do too much in this level, so hopefully we can do that now and everything should be good. So we got lots to do, 108 gems in total in all three of the orbs. The problem with Hi, this one Spyro. is that we gotta do everything again to actually solve the puzzle, I think. Uh, so we'll just do what we can with that. I mean, we know how to swim for this level. Like, it was already like an expectation you couldn't really move forward with this one without it. I don't know what we do with this box again. Hmm, maybe we'll have to come back for that, because I'm not entirely sure. But for now, we can just swim with the uh, little turtles and figure things out as we go. I think I can hit him for some extra butterflies. Okay, where did they go? Oh, wait, I think I gotta get rid of you? There we go. Was that blocking your way? Oh, you guys aren't even in here. <laughs> oh man, I basically have to replay the entirety of this level, because I do not remember, like, at all. Move that guy that way. Get rid of you, because you're not very nice. Oh, there's a gem right here. Look at that, like, oh, I missed a ton of stuff. It's crazy. And you, and you, they're all enemies, aren't they? Well, actually, are you an enemy? You are an enemy. Like, they're beating up each other. Like, what, what weirdos? Because there's this right here. I need to do something about this. 
and I don't think there's anything I can do about it. It's a very odd situation. Because I think I, I, I definitely need somebody to destroy them. Anyways, for now, if I can't worry about it, let's just keep moving on. Oh, I can climb up this now, though. That's what I couldn't do before. So I can grab a couple of these, and from here, I mean, I guess I could just glide to this. Not really doing much for me. Once again, I need to, I think, get a supercharge. And once I get the supercharge, I can destroy these boxes without too much of an issue. So for right now, boom, hit you. Not because I mean to, I'm sorry, buddy. It's just I need you to, no, wait. No, 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 what are you doing? Get on that button. Oh, dude, come on. Ready, boom. Get on that button, you can do it. You can do it, you can do it. Yeah, good job. And then, ow, ooh, double ow. Get out of here, get out of here, and give me that. <laughs> oh my gosh, it never ends. And there's like a lot of gems, oh, I thought there was a gem sitting here, never mind. I'm gonna say a lot of gems is sitting around. I just never did anything with. The water workers have captured most of our baby turtles, and the boxes they put them in are incredibly strong. With a more powerful flame attack, maybe you could break open the boxes and release them. I'll do what I can to defeat 11 enemies to activate the super flame power-up. The power-up is between the two pyramids on the round platform, which we already saw. So I just need to destroy 11 enemies. Not quite there yet, but we're working on it. In the meantime, let's destroy more enemies. What do you know? Whoa, no, you know, don't you dare. There we go, so that's nine. Here is 10 of them. And then is this guy makes 11? Indeed, he makes 11. So, well, I'll destroy this guy as well, just so he's not in my way. So with that being done, I can fly back this way, grab this, and there's a couple boxes to take out. Like, there's this one right here. This has a couple of turtles. And it really isn't all that timed. We just have to go through. There's apparently seven boxes worth of turtles to save. And I know there's one that's under the water. That one's gonna be a challenge, but it was at the very beginning of the level. But for right now, I'm going to land right here. I'm gonna aim this up and shoot it and then shoot this one. Definitely shooting it like that helps. I don't have to do anything with the turtles, luckily. We just have to be there for them. <laughs> okay. So we've gotten three of them done so far. That's not really that bad. I think there's another one up that way, which once again, we don't really need to do much more than to stand here, aim it up, and fire. Did that work? A little bit higher. Got it, that's four out of seven. So before we do anything more about going that main way, I wanna go back to where we were so that I can Figure that out, because I don't think going in the water cancels this at all, right? Ooh, for a second I thought it did. I was gonna get upset, I was like, wait, how do you do this? There we go, that's five out of seven, so I gotta find two more somewhere. Okay, so we're going this way now, because I think this is where we need to go to continue the level normally, but what I'm looking for is more of the boxes. Even though I refreshed, I thought I refreshed a fire. I mean, I might not want to use a fire right away anyways, try to just destroy, ow, some enemies. Not enemies destroy me and just try to figure out what I gotta do anyways. It might be the easiest possible thing. So I'm just not really sure. Oh, we can climb up there where there's two more orbs to get. Those are definitely the other two orbs. And I think this leads to the exit for the thing. So while that turtle is moving, I'm gonna get rid of those guys. Where do you think you're going, sir? Cause he doesn't really move very far. But then like, if you keep attacking him over and over again, he just jumps up and down in a way that's not very useful. Okay, there we go. I can skip your text. You know, you give me the talisman I actually already have, so thanks, I guess. Whoa. You already have this talisman, I thought so. What are you gonna say? I don't remember you. Hello, young one. There's a chef up at the top of this ladder. Oh, who I do remember this. Soup out of our turtles. Maybe you could climb up there and stop it? I can now, I could have before, but I'll, I'll stop him good. Your turtle friends will make a very good soup if I can catch them. You can try to save them if you like. But I'm feeling awfully hungry. All right, let's give it a shot. Keep the turtles out of the cauldron. Okay, so do I have to like torch them? Why are they running towards the cauldron in the first place? That's like a very silly thing to do, don't you think? How long am I supposed to keep them away from the cauldron? <laughs> Forever, wah ha 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 ha. Is there just like a really good thing in here that turtles is love? Has to be. Okay, um. Torch these two, turn around, torch this guy. Am I just supposed to repeatedly do this? Is there gonna be more than one turtle popping up in a moment? I sure hope not. Okay, there we go, got him. They always like run all the way back. And at least that'd be more useful if they did. It looks like they turn around at some point. How long am I supposed to do this for? I'm gonna try to scare you that way so you're running farther away from the cauldron because you just sort of hit the wall. Watch it, there he is. Got him, got him, turn around, got him. I mean, we're doing a pretty good job. 
As far as I can tell. This guy's way back here now. Run back, run back. Got him, got him. Yeah, are we just, am I doing something wrong? Are we supposed to eventually be able to get them to go back? Are we supposed to get them in the water? Oh, we might suppose, or maybe supposed to be getting them in the water. Okay, that makes a whole lot more sense, but also makes it a tad bit more dangerous. I've been just juggling them for no reason. Got it, and then go back there, torch him, turn him around, torch this guy. Okay, one of them is in the water. Torch you towards the water, torch you towards the water. They don't really make that part obvious, which is really funny. I don't know why they like would run towards a cauldron in the first place, they're weird. Got it, and got it, come on, come on, go in that water, good job. And turn around, see what happens, yeah, I thought so. So you saved a few turtles. There are more where those came from. Here, take this orb and go away. Oh great, there's more. You know, I'm gonna put you in the cauldron. He's got some massive eyebrows as well. Anyways, there we go. And I guess I'll go at it again if you give me the chance. No? Was that it? I swear that it said that there was more than one orb in, uh, over his head. Well, there is more. Well, there's this guy. Is that it? I don't know. Let me just go ahead and save this poor turtle who's marching off to his doom. Like, I don't know if this is actually what I'm supposed to be doing right now. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop it. And then, don't you dare. Yeah, I thought so. What are you doing? This guy, like, doesn't want to go in. What, are you afraid of the water? It's not cold. At least I don't think it is. I'll make it not cold, I'll torch it. These guys just turn around way sooner is the thing. So there isn't more turtles. Dude, what, 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 you, what? <laughs> Come again? Uh, do I just hop in? I don't know what happened there. I didn't think a turtle had touched a cauldron. Okay, you know, wait for it. And then go for it. Go in. He won't go in. It's glitched. What is happening here? I don't know. Yeah, it's it's not really working. Maybe I have to go and do something else. I ought to find the other crates anyways. Where are the other crates at? Is there any underwater around here? There's not really too much underwater. So I'm missing two more crates worth of turtles somewhere in this level, and I gotta find them. Okay, so there's one in here. That should be pretty easy to get. Just gotta hop up this way. Got it, and go for it. Stand like this, aim it up, and give it a blast. Hold on. Got it, so where is the last one gonna be? This right, it could be just about anywhere. Well, there is more up this way. Oh, okay, what is this about? Right at the very beginning, I've never gotten any of this. This is probably where most of our gems that we're missing are. So I can hop on top of you, ooh, perfect. And is there gonna be a box over here? I don't see a box at all, but we'll search around this area as much as I can and just sort of figure things out. We're doing pretty decent. It's that one last box, wherever it is, I have no clue. I can at least get over here, charge you all of this stuff. Got it. And not bad. Okay, so still missing 24. Now only 19 gems. He's saying they're th that way. So if I can find where those gems are, I'm pretty sure I can find where everything else is. Hold on. Sparks is still saying go this way. Uh, still saying go, okay, there's something up there. So if I climb up this thing, I probably just missed something to my side. Yeah, right here. Okay, there's some easy gems. Now he's saying go that way. Okie doke, I'll do what I can. Okay, that has to be in this area then? Yeah, he's saying go straight ahead. Oh, sorry, I <laughs> took care of that, that starfish. This way, oh yeah, down this way. How did I miss, oh, here it is. As clear as day, now I'm stuck behind it. I don't know where the other gems are, but I don't care. I wanna go ahead and get this orb done. Come on, come on. Oh, almost out of time. Where is it? Right here. Yeah, got it, that was Most tough. Most impressive. Please take this sacred thingamajig as a token of our everlasting gratitude. You're welcome. So we get ourselves a thingamajig. How awesome is that? I love them. Awesome stuff. So, what I wanna check out now is we still have one more orb to get and 10 more gems. The gems are just as much of a mystery as the orbs are at this point. I'm saying they're still that way, so I must have just missed something at the very, very end. This level is one of the weirdest when it comes to how it's constructed. I don't know, there's something that is very odd about it, especially with the penguin glitching out and not giving me the second part of the mission. 
I might have to die and restart it because that usually seems to solve most of those issues. He's saying it's this way. It's not under the water though, right? I don't think he's gonna agree that it's under the water. I don't see him. Come on, Sparks. He's saying it's up that way. Pretty sure it's, oh, you know what? I know exactly where it is. I'm totally being a dingus and I forgot about it. Let me get up here and ignore you because you won't let me talk to you and get these. What? What? Excuse me? <laughs> All right, I might have to go and like find a place to die and see what ends up happening then because he won't even let me in there myself. Okay, so now I can talk to him. Before I do, still can't do that. Let's just talk to him. Mm -hmm. I love the smell of turtle soup in the morning, huh? <laughs> I suppose you're gonna try one more time, but I doubt you can do any better. Sure, let's try it. So, the turtle's gonna start popping out this time. Let's see what happens if I try to immediately get this guy in the water. Will it work? Will it not? Come on, you can go in. That's it, that's it. No, it's still broken. What do we do about that? Cause that's what you're supposed to do in this level, is get them in the water. I might have to like restart the level entirely. I really don't know. I'd rather not have to do that, but I might not have too much of a choice. And then somebody touched the pot there. Something's not right about this. So I'm gonna leave the level and come back into it. Okay, so let's try this again. Maybe he'll be willing to actually work with us now. Your There's order number two. Will make a very good soup, okay, we know about this. Keep the turtles out of the cauldron. I mean, we've already done this once, and I think that's what we're trying to get done now. So I'm gonna torch you towards that. And this is definitely the easier difficulty one. Okay, that's working. That's a good sign. You stay away from that cauldron. He was just standing at it that time. It was like not actually working. Okay, here comes his little friend, which I will just sort of push back for now. Do that, push you back again, go back this way. Don't, no you don't, no you don't. Go the proper way, sir. And then start getting you a little bit, because I think that you're in the water, you're in the water, nice. So this is definitely the easier one. No other turtles have popped up yet. But if it works, it works, that's all that matters. But if it doesn't, I don't know what to do about it, because <laughs> it's just broken, I don't know. Anyways, keep going, keep going, and almost, yeah. So you saved a few turtles. Okay, now what? He gives us the orb we already had, I think. You already collected this orb. Well, let's talk to him again. If you step any closer to the pot, I'll start ringing my bell again. Okay, keep the turtles out of the cauldron again. Difficulty five stars. So did you ring the bell? Turtles comments, we're about to find out. Let me just, before we actually try to complete this, I know more turtles are coming, I just need to see, will you actually go in the water now? Come on. You just immediately tried to turn around. Yeah, what, what the heck? What the heck? Okay, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Okay, so it's working now, perfect. So I need to be able to, whoa, whoa, whoa. Get you guys out of here, and then move this guy down farther. Luckily, they do give you a fair amount of time. Oh, here comes another one, though. Which is not gonna make this any easier. Come on, get you out of here and work on you a little bit. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh, there's so many. Got him. Get him away from me. <laughs> You're going the wrong way. Okay, go, go. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Get you. Got you. Wait, 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 wait. What are you guys doing? Yeah, move this way. This is so tough. Oh my gosh, you have to like micromanage all of them. Come on, keep going. And then go this way, but turn around because I know these guys are close. And another one's coming up. Oh my gosh. Go for it, go for the water. Some of these guys seem to travel a little bit farther from your torch, but not far enough apparently. Jeez Louise, where are you going? You're going the wrong way. <laughs> Hold on, go that way. You really gotta force him to go though. No! Oh my gosh, that's tough. Mm -mm. I love the smell. Okay, okay. Try again. And once again, I gotta immediately try to get this guy over that way. A second he's like, oh, I don't wanna push him again. He just he's weird about it too. He like double takes for some reason, which makes it slightly harder than it needs to be. Some people were saying some parts of Spyro 2, especially the uh, gulp boss fight 
are harder than they were in the original game, which is like, what? <laughs> That's not cool. So let's get to, like, I wouldn't mind if it gets a little easier from the original game. I, I don't know how tough that actually would have been because I've never played it. Well, we can charge him too? Hold on. Oh, that changes everything. Okay, try that again. That literally changes everything. The problem is you could probably get them right into the pot if you're not careful, but that literally changes absolutely everything. Because I just get you over like that, and then I charge you like that, and we're good. That makes it so much easier. I thought I just had to torch them the entire time. Not even close. And there he goes. And they just keep going until they hit a wall. All right, well, then I have this solved. It's not even going to be a problem anymore. Hold on. He does have some rebound off the wall. There's another one. Okay, come on. Get this, dude. So that's what's been so confusing for me. Okay. All right, we got one right behind me, I think. And charge him. Perfect. This is easy now. I figured it out, guys, don't worry. Some of you have probably been yelling at your screens like, no, it's so easy. Is that all of them? I don't think so. <laughs> There's so many of them still. Go for it. That one's a little bit off, but that's fine. He almost just won in himself. Got it. Running back now, there's this dude. And if we angle it up just right, they can just go right into the water. This is easy. I can do this all day. I mean, I, I sure hope I don't have to. Got it. I think another one popped out over this way. Nope, we're good. Rats, you saved every turtle on the beach. Here, take this. I was gonna use it to buy potatoes, but now I don't need it. All right, well, I'll get the potatoes myself and keep the orb. All right, well, awesome stuff. That is really good. I don't think I can talk to you anymore. I don't want to, to be honest with you. And all the orbs are collected, which means all we have to do is dive into here. He wasn't letting me before and get all of these gems. There we go, there's 404 gems. So we are 100% done this level, which means we only have one level left in the Summer Forest World, and it is the Ocean Speedway. So let's get to it. We gotta get the one orb there. So just like with the Speedway we did last episode, after we complete it, the timer doesn't go down anymore. It actually goes up. And that's great because somewhere around here is an orb to get. And I don't really know where it is. Last episode we did the very last speedway and then and we found Hunter and he was like, hey, you ride my airplane again, even though we haven't rode, ridden it the first time. So I'm gonna guess somewhere around here, Hunter's chilling out and we're just supposed to get it done. <laughs> I don't know where that might be though, is the confusing thing. There's sort of like a lot of open area here. I'm sure if we explored it normally, we'd eventually find it. Maybe it's inside like a tunnel or something. Like, let me follow these guys a little bit. <laughs> They're all cheering for us. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, don't fall to your doom, Spyro. Thank you. Okay, oh, this is going all over the place. But like, it might be inside of a part of a building, something like that. Whoa. I don't know. Gotta be somewhere around here. We've already spent a minute in here. <laughs> Obviously, our high score times is gonna work out so well. That's fine with me. Maybe somewhere in here. I mean, maybe if I do all of the things I'm supposed to do, I'll just see it and be like, oh, duh. I'm not really sure. It'd be cool if we could just go to the top of this. I mean, can we go to the top of the island? No, it doesn't want us to go any higher than this. Weird, it's gotta be around somewhere. Don't touch the water. If we touch the water, we're gonna start it over. I don't know if we lose a life or not, though. I would just think if we do, which we might. <laughs> so I'm just trying to be careful. I feel like we've already circled around the whole thing. Wait, it might be down there. Hold on, turn around. No, not quite. But maybe over here? Nobody over here. Just looking for Hunter, because I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be Hunter again. Hanging out, waiting for us. Hey, this is where all the rings were. So we definitely have just circled the whole place, and I didn't find nothing. Weird. I don't know where I'm looking. I don't think it's any of these crowd members that are just so excited. Whoa, we can take them out? Whoa! I mean, this is awful, I shouldn't be doing this. But I can. I guess oh. now you think you're pretty good. Well, let's see if you're as good as the current champion. Are you ready for a race? I guess I'm ready. I didn't realize All you were right, her. Spyro, meet the course champion. In order to win the race, you must fly through all the rings. But beware, if Hunter flies through a ring first, the ring will start to shrink. Oh, so follow Hunter through the rings. So we are racing Hunter. Whoa, look at him go, that is so cool. So when he flies through a ring, it'll start to shrink. So our goal is to get to them before he does. Problem is it sort of seems to be inconspicuous about which ring is next. So I'm just gonna follow him. 
If that's easier, then that's easier. If I just trail behind them, like they start to shrink, but they're not like impossibly small. Whoa, nice turn. I'm impressed, he's a pretty good flyer so far. Okay, ooh, going through this one, nice. Yeah, I didn't realize it was that lady just hanging out there. Thought they were all just crowd members, so I'm glad I actually checked that out a little bit more. Thought that maybe they would be, you know, just like with the previous one, they'd just be Hunter hiding somewhere and you just had to talk to him. But I guess not, there's a little bit more to it each time. That's actually cool. Okay, Hunter's obviously gonna go through this one. That's 10, oh gosh, I didn't expect him to do that. Ooh, he's moving now. Gotta catch back up to him. He's slowing down a little bit though. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go through this one. And then he's, oh, okay, gonna go through this underpass and then up this way. Oh gosh, the sun's blinding me. Grab this one and then, oh, you know what? No, okay, I thought he was gonna go up. He's not going up. He's instead, now he's going up, way up. This is a lot of fun. I like trailing behind Hunter. And then this one, I could actually, me, I was hoping I could maybe beat him there, but not quite. Okay, going down this way. Got it. And don't forget this one. Now let's try out this one. This is the last one. Can I beat him there? Ah, whoa, whoa, don't do that. There Good we go. Good job, Spyro. That was some excellent flying. Thank you. And there we go, we get an orb for that one, which means the Summer Forest should be 100% completed. I sure hope so. 58 orbs in total now. Very cool. And that should just like sort of restart the level a little bit, I think. Let's take a look then. Level 100% complete. Uh, we had a game total of 88%. We still have the Autumn Plains to do in today's episode, but 100% across the board is a beautiful sight. But I might wanna check like an online guide to make sure I've gotten, I mean, I, got, I have to have gotten all the levels done because I need the talismans from each level. So I guess, yeah, we're fine. Let's try Autumn Plains and there's plenty of stuff I still need to get in Autumn Plains. I'm only 20% done it, so let's get started. Okay, so if we take a look, like I said before, we have a little under 200 more gems to get and two orbs. So I sort of just gotta get started looking for them. Um, and I'm sure there's plenty of areas I just really sort of missed or didn't really try very hard to find everything. So I figure we will just use sparks quite often to try to find things, whatever way we might need to go. It's looking like he wants me to go up there right away. So thanks sparks, you really just want me to go to the difficult spots first. How can I get up there? Cause it looks like there's sort of a castle wall following everything. So I think my best bet is to actually head back this way now he's telling me to go this way, onto that wall, which is what I'm trying to do. There's no way I can get up there from here though. Yeah, I remember that and thinking, how in the world do we get over there? Ain't from here, that's for sure. I don't think it's from here either. I mean, I'm, you, I might be wrong. Ooh, I may actually be wrong. I mean, that's something I'm pretty used to, so not too crazy to think about. Now he wants me to go over there. He's just sort of changing his mind constantly, which is not so helpful right now, Sparks, gotta be honest. I still don't know how exactly I mean, I could try it, but I don't trust it. Mm -hmm. Well, I can do that, but there's no way I'm making that jump. That's where this gets funky. What's with this? Like, obviously, yeah, there's stuff to get up there. Why would it do that? Because <laughs> I can make my way back, right? Not really. That's sort of lame. What do I do? <laughs> I wonder if we can get up on these trees. Would that be enough? Probably not, to be honest. I really don't know. It still wants me to get up there, but I know that there's more gems somewhere else, because we're missing a bunch. So if I just, I don't remember this area too much. Maybe if we just keep going down, yeah, we can find something. Ooh, do we need super speed from, no, we can just charge through it. Okay, cool. <laughs> that was surprisingly easy. The end of the wall right there. So now it wants me to go that way. All right, uh, we can do that. This is just this way with all this stuff. I feel like this is gonna be a tough area to fully complete for some reason. <laughs> I mean, that definitely helped getting those two yellow gems, those 20 gems in total. Whoa, what are you doing, Spyro? Get up there. That's it. <laughs> now we gotta get up this wall and jump to the side. And we're good. So what's going on up here, Sparks? It looks like you want me to go this way. I don't think I missed anything on these steps. Definitely missed some stuff in that, in that level, but I'm not worried about that right now. Sparks wants me to go up. Can you go up? I guess you can. I mean, you have to be able to. Nothing like crazy around here. Hmm. Definitely feels like there could be a lot of secrets all over the place. I don't think it has anything to do with this. Ooh, no, that's not a platform. I was gonna say, maybe, but not quite. Now we're going down, I need to go up. Yeah, and this is just gulps. Okay, that's weird. 
There has to be something I missed then. It must be with this then. Like, I, like what else would it be? So let me get across and sort of take a look. Like turn around, glide over. Is there any way I can like get on the roof? Maybe? No, no way, no way. What in the world do I do here? Oh, is this another one? I think it is. Boom, got it, okay. That is so silly. I would've, I, I just, I can't believe, I, that took me so long. <laughs> it really did, I, I went through this castle like twice, like there's gotta be something I'm missing. And that had to be it, because it was really the only thing. So there's lots of gems up here on the top of this castle. How cool is this, by the way? So this is probably how we get over to that last little spot. I can only imagine. I'm gonna find out soon enough. Just wanna grab all these while I have the chance. How many gems is that? 307, we're still missing tons. Oh my gosh, wait, is there even higher we can go up? Whoa, look at this, this is, this is so rad. I love it. Okay, grab all this stuff. Good, good, good. And 325, so we're missing 75. That's a perfect amount. It's just gleaming out over there. It's like, hey, pick me up, pick me up. Look at this, long distance glide. This might be like the longest distance glide we've seen in either the game so far, Spiral one or two. Like not flying, just gliding. That is so cool, and then whoa, got it. There's 60 orbs, long distance like I just said, and that should be this area 100% completed, and indeed it is. I am so happy about that, all orbs collected. Okay, so with that being done, we wanna move over to Fracture Hills where we have one orb to get, and that's it. So that shouldn't be too bad to do. I think I know exactly what to do with it, so let's get started. So the only thing I'm missing is the one orb. So there were quite a few of these guys that you can I can now defeat. Uh, before I couldn't, what I gotta do is get over them and I guess just slam down, right? Or maybe I don't even need to get over them. I don't know what I gotta do. See, that sort of works, but I think I gotta do it over their heads. But what's weird about that is you can't do all gliding. I'll try that again, but I'm pretty sure that's how you do it. But Hunter, who we helped for one orb, was like, come back when you can do the slam move. That didn't do anything. Okay, so maybe that's wrong. I don't know, but we'll find out together. I'm just going to go and try to find Hunter who should be across the way. Uh, yeah, I can just get across like that. Actually, no, this is the wrong way. Oh, oh, I gotta go like that. Get this pig so I can get myself some extra health because looks like Sparks needs it. And I'm gonna avoid the majority of this other stuff because we've already done it. The game wants me to do it again, but I'm gonna opt out of that. And uh, what I gotta do, like, I, I mean, I'm, I'm sure it would be great to have the supercharge, but I don't think we, nah, oh, ow, pain, pain, <laughs> no. Oh, great, no, I can do that, though. I don't need to get the 14 enemies. I just need to get rid of this evil bush. Perfect, okay, now that I've done that, talk to Hunter. Just stand still, he says. I'll turn your boots to gold, he says. Wait, but I've already done that. Oh, no, I have to do this mission again? Just stand still, he says. Oh, that's so lame, ah, oh, that's the worst. Okay, there we go, I finally did it. I can't believe they didn't think about that when remastering it, <laughs> that you have to redo th certain things like that. Like, that's just Man, such a pain. my feet feel better. Would you look after this for me? All right, so he's gonna give us the orb we already have, yada, 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 but then he'll be like, come back when you have the ability, which I already have now. As long as you're here, would you like to help me take out these stubborn earth shapers? I would love to, yes. All right, when I shoot an earth shaper with an arrow, you head bash him before he gets back up. Remember, head bash by jumping and then pressing the action button. Action button it is. Head bash earth shapers after Hunter shoots them. Let's hope this won't be too difficult, but it was a four out of five difficulty. Okay, so you're gonna shoot them and then they'll fall, and then I'll bash them. Perfect. And I'm just gonna try to keep up with you, but also try to keep some distance so I don't constantly get hit by the Earth Shaper since seeing how I can't take any more damage now. So just slam it, and try to look away, or look around to see where he's going next. That got him, pretty good, pretty good. He's gonna go for this dude, I gotta imagine. So Hunter can be pretty qualified for taking out bad guys. He just doesn't really do it much. I feel like that's sort of the thing, in a way, with how the cutscenes have been, it sounds like Hunter really should be the guy taking down Ripto, but instead we got us. Okay, what's going on now? Whoop. All right, well that was easy. We make a great team. Here, I was gonna give this to the Alchemist, but I'm a bit annoyed at him at the moment. Okay, well, that was actually easier than the alchemist thing, so I will gladly take that, and that is this area fully 100% completed, all orbs collected, 
and level 100% complete. So we're just gonna be moving to the Shady Oasis where we have 20 orbs, or 20 gems, and one orb to get. Let's get to it. Okay, so this one should be pretty simple. We already know what we're doing, really. Like, I know where the, the gems I'm missing are. The 20 will be real easy. The one orb I'm a little confused on, I don't exactly remember. But we're about to find out, I guess. So I'm gonna go and, ow, move it. How am I gonna take the, oh, you took care of him for me. Okay, never mind. But yeah, there should be a thing somewhere around here. I'll be looking forward for around for it. But I think it's just, get rid of this dude, got him. And I think I can make the jump from here. I'm not really supposed to, I don't believe, but you can do that. Jump over here and then slam onto this. And that should be my 20 gems. So where in the world is the final orb? That's sort of the bigger question. And I think that might be at the very end and maybe you just need something I don't have. I don't remember. I mean, there's you. Great you've learned to head bash, Spyro, but I'm afraid neither of us can cross until that power up is working. Okay, so let's get the power up set up and then maybe I'll figure out where the orb is. My eight brothers have been trapped in rock and will sink if you can't break them free. Head bash the rocks by jumping and then pressing the action button. Gotcha. Lead. Okay, so held the Follow petrified lead. hippos. And remember, jump and then press the action button to head bash. All right, all right, I know all about that. So follow Grundy and bash her relatives out of the rock. So I guess we'll even be going on the scoop. So here's one. Where are they, all the others? I guess, oh, okay, so it's all just gonna be around here. Is that the deal? I don't really know. Is there like a timer? Three out of eight. Um. Well, as soon as more pop up, I'll do what I can. Are they flying? They're flying out of here, weird. There's five out of eight. This is really easy so far. Uh, here's six. And seven, one more, one more, come on, give it to me. And we got it, easy enough. Thanks for freeing us. All I have to give you is this thingy I found. At least it's not a rock. Yeah, I mean, it's a green rock, but still pretty cool. So at this point, this is this level done, and we should only have two more, the icy speedway and the metro speedway. So just the two orbs there should be very easy to do. Let's get started. So I have no idea what I'm looking for for this one, I mean, I'll probably just run around on the floor a little bit. I know for a fact, we've already tried it, you can't touch the water at all in this level. So I'm gonna be looking around and trying to figure things out. But I really don't know. I'm gonna think, you can't go up there. <laughs> you definitely can't go up there. It, there's a lot of places it could be hidden. But I'm gonna look to try to, you know, eliminate the obvious things first, because that's sort of what I failed to do in the previous Speedway level. Okay, can't get up there at all. <laughs> gotcha. I mean, there's one of the ballerina dudes. Like a lot of these ice, like I don't know if there's maybe like an ice cave somewhere that I can sneak into that I, I haven't seen. This is it like on the side or something? Ooh, ooh, that'll take something. No, never mind. okay. A lot of these guys are just spinning around having a good time. We already went into there. We were just there like 10 seconds ago. Just the water, which there's no way to get into. Hmm. It is quite odd. There really isn't too much to this one. Let me get up here. Nothing I can access from over here, okay. Yeah, there really isn't much. Where could this orb be? I really don't know. Oh, oh, you know what? Oh, I was, I was thinking, wait, no. No, not quite. Then I'm thinking it might be on one of these outskirted islands, like island icicles or I mean island glaciers. It has to do something with this building, it has to, right? Something about this building seems off. Whoa, 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 don't fall. <laughs> because it's just sort of chilling out over here and you guys are spinning around. But I don't see anything about it, how I can like access it, get inside. So maybe that's not it either. There really isn't anything else of peculiarness, maybe up here actually. Any way to go down it? Uh, hold on. No, I can't even go up that high. We're, at, we're as high as I can go. Which is weird. What am I missing? Hmm, and I can't charge into this wall. I am not sure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's an igloo. Uh, oh, there's, Hunter, you're too big Good for that. Good job, Spyro. <laughs> Looks like you're ready for a more serious challenge. How about a little paragliding? You're not afraid of heights, are you? Uh, no, we're fine. 
So let's do it. Great. I'll tow you behind my snowmobile and you maneuver through the rings. Don't miss any or we'll have to start over. Okay, why would we paraglide if we can fly? I, whoa, this is ridiculous looking. I love it. So we just gotta lean left and right. Shouldn't it be too bad? Oh my gosh, I love it. So to the left, to the right, we gotta get 50 of them? Wow, that's gonna be a bit of a challenge then. Like if we miss one of them, like oh, we almost missed that one, we would've had to start over. Got it, that was a little scary, but we made it work. Get these ones, ooh, ah, pretty good, pretty good. This is really cool, I like paragliding. I mean, I don't think I'd ever wanna do it myself, but you know, Spyro proves that a quadruped can do anything they put their mind to. Cause I mean, he's not flying, he's just floating, I guess, I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> no, how'd I miss that one? Hey, Dang! Hey, I you were good at this flying stuff. Oh well, wanna go for it again? Oh, don't be mean. Great. We're good at flying. <laughs> we're not good at paragliding, That's, there's a difference. Okay, let's try it again. Go for this one. But it's weird, I mean, he's on like a snowmobile, but we're on the water. I mean, I think some snowmobiles can go on the water if you make them go fast enough, they sort of skip across it. But it's only for a certain amount of time. Weird, I don't know. Got it. It does look cool, I like the flames on the side and everything. I think we're doing a little bit better this time. Halfway through now, oh, that one's always tough. Go for it, go for it, got it, 30. Nice, okay, 35, so 15. Oh, what? Oh, that's baloney. Great. Okay, we're doing okay. Oh, only a couple more left to go, but they get real difficult towards this point. Got it, got it, 47, 48. Okay, that's easy, that's easy. 49 and 50. Ooh, we did it. Way to go, Spyro. You're even better than I am. Thanks. <laughs> he gives the diss and us the compliments. Well, what do you know, he's a bit of an emotional roller coaster. But there's that orb, finally 63 in total. How exciting, and we got one more left to get in the other speedway. Uh, but beyond that, like I don't know what else there is to get. We'll have to sort of like double check everything because like I think I've got everything done in the summer forest. I'll have to double ensure that. And then we're just missing a couple of uh, gems here in the winter tundra and then we should be good. So is there just 64 orbs in total? That'd be quite fitting. But anyways, let's go to this other speedway and get that last orb. Okay, so uh, let's start looking through Metro Speedway and whoa, 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 what was that? Here we go, he well, hello. What is this We've room? We've been having a crime problem here in Metro Speedway, but I think you might be able to help. A band of cat burglars have been raiding my re-election funds by scaling the walls of the buildings. Would you be willing to help get rid of them? Uh, sure. W what? That's a weird concept, but yes. Great. Hunter can knock the scoundrels off of the buildings, but we'll need you to catch the loot before it lands in the canal and gets lost. Good luck. Hunter is waiting for you outside. Hunter's always one step ahead of us, isn't he? Catch the loop before it lands. Uh, this one might be weird. Look at him, he does a bunch of stuff, you know? He's quite the hero. I mean, and just some guy that just hangs out, I guess. Okay, so here's one of the cats, and then there's the loot. Oh. Well, I'm already gonna have to restart this one, aren't I? Where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go? It's down here. Nosedive, ah, uh, okay, you know what, just restart. That was so weird, okay, it's not it just- looks like you missed one. But there always seem to be more burglars trying to rob us blind. Are you ready to try again? Yeah. Great! Hunter can knock the- Yep, 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 we know. So, I thought that it would just flaw, fall straight down. Not exactly the case. Does this make me fall any faster or fly any faster? I think it does. Okay, that might not be that good of an idea then. Oh, got it. There's one out of two. Where's the next one? Woohoo, yay! Here's the next one. Oh no, okay, not the one I thought you were gonna go for, but okay, fine with me. So here is three out of 12. So as long as I'm just sort of cruising behind Hunter, I should be okay. Problem is when we dive down like that, we sort of narrow our vision a little bit. We have to sort of recenter ourselves, which is never a good thing. Got it. Okay, so we're halfway there now. Gotta get this guy. And then, where's that? Oh, it's over here. Got it, wow, I just barely got that one. Got that one, perfect. We're doing pretty well then, nine out of 12. And there's gonna be one where? Right here, and we got this one. And one more left to get, where is it? Get this pigeon out of here. Gonna be this way. Ooh, got him, awesome. Well done, you really taught those crooks a lesson. Thanks. So there's that done, 
And I really do think that's all the orbs in the game then. How exciting. 64 of them. So what's happening now? We're just probably gonna be loaded back into the level. So I think that's about everything. Like, I mean, level 100% complete. What else is it gonna say? That's it. So I'm gonna head out of here and I guess just back into the winter tundra and see what ends up happening, if there is anything more. It says we're at 96% completed, so I think we're really for real done with it. So there we have it, we're back at the winter tundra, and as you can see, all the other levels are 100% completed, so next episode, we'll be going to the end of winter tundra, defeating Ripto, and with it, I guess 100% completing Spyro 2, as far as I understand, maybe there's something extra afterwards, we'll have to wait and see. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Spyro the Reignited Trilogy. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Zebra or Sony have watched at the end of the URA, Zebra Task Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. I don't Way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.